Hello everyone, this is Suzanne at God Crochet and Chatter. Welcome back. Ah, oh, it has been a busy day. I didn't realize there was so much to do for pre-op surgery. I have to have lab work done. I have to have a talk with some clinic. They'll talk about my surgery, what to expect, all that kind of stuff. And then I have to, um, one more thing I have to do, I got it all written down and I'm going to be busy right up till the day of my surgery. Um, my surgery is June 7th. And I will be in the hospital at least overnight. The last time I went in for neck surgery, I was in a week because I couldn't swallow anything, even liquids. Uh, that wasn't pleasant. So hopefully that won't hap happen again this time. But all is good. I wrote everything down for each day that I have to do. And then I'm not so overwhelmed. They were throwing all the stuff at me and I'm going, well, okay. <laughs> but you know, I find that if we write it down and we just deal with each day as it comes, then we have everything covered and we don't have to stress out so much. Taking notes is very important. And I think you probably think so too. All right, today is a short video. I've been a busy girl all day, um, making appointments and writing on my calendar and uh, wasn't feeling too good when I got up this morning, so I got a slow start, but uh, my hamburgers are cooking in my toaster oven and dinner will be ready soon. So I thought I'd get on here. We have a short but powerful video to, um, devotional today. Let me find my... Oh my goodness, where is my card? Here it is, my trivia card. I believe yesterday was, who was the recipient of the first kiss recorded in the Bible? Isaac, Genesis 27, 27. What is the 40th book in the Bible? That is today's question, the 40th book in the Bible. You had to be some, do some quick looking up on that one. All right, let's get to our devotional, and then I got a couple of things to show you. So, um, welcome to all my new subscribers, my regular subscribers. Thank you for all the comments. I do appreciate those comments. And if you could just hit that like button, also, it has something to do with YouTube algorithms or something. Please, that would help me a great deal. All right, let's get started with our devotional. And God bless you today. A rattlesnake bit one of my sheep in the face about a week ago. Deadliest snake that lives around here. The sheep's face swelled up and hurt her terribly. But the old rattlesnake didn't know the kind of blood that flows through the sheep. Anti-venom is most often made from sheep's blood. The sheep swelled up for about two days, but the blood of the lamb destroyed the venom of the serpent. I was worried, but... She the sheep didn't care. She kept eating, kept on drinking, and kept on climbing because she knew she was all right. Often the serpents of this life will reach out and bite us. They inject their poison into us, but they cannot overcome the blood of the, the Lamb of God that washes away the sin of the world and the sting of death. Don't worry about the serpent or his bite. Just make sure the Lamb's blood is flowing through your veins, author unknown. That is incredible. The blood of the Lamb of God that washes away sin of the world and the sting of death. Wow. No worries, right? No worries. Sometimes our journey in life is full of bites and stumbles and mistakes, but we have faith that uh, we will get through it, and everything will be okay. All right, I hope you've enjoyed that devotional today. I got my doggy done. I got his little skirt made. Isn't that something that matches him so perfectly? This is I Love You Yarn, and this one is called Eagle Gold. Eagle's Gold. And I got my little wrapper set aside that I write on them beautiful yarn and that way when I go in the store I can take my list with me and I can get some more because oftentimes I forget and then I'm sorry about that like why didn't I write that down 
But yeah, I think he turned out really cute. This is my birthday dog. He's going to stay right with me because he shares my birthday. Oh, that is so cute. Look at him. I wish we could have a German Shepherd, but we have a small apartment, and uh, that wouldn't work out for us. All right, I've also been working on this dishcloth. I showed you a little bit yesterday on the unboxing. This is called K-N-O-L-L, -L, Noel Dishcloth. It's a free pattern. I have posted the link in the drop-down box below. Look at that beautiful stitch. It is so easy to do. Basically, you have groups of three double crochets and a single crochet. Three doubles and a single. So as you go back and forth, you're doing a single crochet in the middle stitch. And in the dip in a single crochet, you're doing three doubles. And you go back and forth just like that. The pattern is in the instructions. And then you put a border around it. Now, as you can see, my bottom is curling up a little. I think that's because I did my beginning chain too tight. I will uh, rectify that on the second one, but I think when I do the border, that will help straighten that out. So yeah, I think I'm gonna be making quite a few of these because they're, they're, they're so much fun to make and you can, sitting watching TV because it's a no brainer, it's just the same one, uh, one row repeat. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? I will put that link in the drop down box below for you. So if you wanna make some of these, I hope you do. I would like to see your color or color combinations. So, well, that's it for today. This was short and sweet. I do have to get dinner going and uh, get changed into my jammies and rest tonight. So, Lord willing, I'll be back on Monday. With uh, We'll be doing an overview of the book of the Gospel of John this time. That will be exciting. All right. Pray for me. That I keep all my ducks in a row and that things go smoothly for me. All right, everyone, you take care. I'll be back on Monday, Lord willing. Bye-bye.